I would see that kind of stuff like Charlottesville and I think like that's pretty messed up but then I never thought that it ever happened to our small town and seeing that happen like and it's going national I think. Like, it's a bad way to put our town on the map but I think as a community we just have to move past it and deal with it I guess. You know, I'll be honest, it was, I was appalled. It was very uh, disturbing. Um, just, just taking the kids out of the equation, just looking at the photo, um, it's something that you see, um, you know, on, on national television, and uh, it's one of those things that just curls your stomach. I thought, like, these guys are my friends. Like, I've been to some of their houses before. I've talked to them before. But I was just mostly shocked, and I, like, I wanted to ask them, like, why, why they did it, but... I haven't had the chance to yet, but yeah, I just say I was shocked and pretty mad to be honest. With us, you know, having a, um, an African American quarterback on our on our football team, um, you know, that's where your mind goes first. How's he doing? What, how's this? Because it is a lot to put on a kid's plate. Um, you know, a 16, a 15, 16 year old, and uh, it's a situation where adults have a tough time comprehending, you know, how to deal with this. And um, I know he has talked to our administration. Um, I've had conversations with him. Um, he's mature um, above his age um, in dealing with this. I think um, th there's, there's definitely a trust issue. Um, I think we w he would probably consider some of those kids his friends um, last week. And, and now you kind of second guess, you know, who your friends are and, and who you hang out with and so yeah it's what it's going to take time I mean it's just we we're going to try to teach and talk to our kids and, and inform them 